the set, it's- oh. Hey, maybe it's time to compare these two and see if any of them are fake. Hey guys, it is me George here and welcome to today's video. And I know you're probably thinking, George, what's with the hat? It's like Christmas is over, seriously. Well, I'm just gonna wear this Santa hat until the end of December because, you know, Christmas. Either way, guys, it was Christmas recently, and if you guys saw my LPS Christmas haul sort of thing, even though I actually bought most of the stuff, like, with my own money, even though I didn't know what it was because I asked my mother to, like, go on eBay and just buy random LPS sets for me to open for a video, but yeah. If you guys saw that video, by the way, uh, it would be in, like, a little card description. I'll probably forget to put it in, though, so it probably won't be there, but either way, guys, um, if you did saw see that Christmas special video, um, you will know that I, uh, one of my favorite sets that I opened in that video was actually this. LPS, I think it was a 12 pack set, um, and it's like, obviously it's an old LPS set, and it just had so many really adorable LPS, I mean, I had a Great Dane and a Short Hair, and I absolutely love those, and they're also, like, really expensive on eBay, so I was super happy to get those, especially brand new and boxed, and I honestly just could not wait to open it, so I am opening it today. And honestly, I don't even know when I'm actually going to open all those other sets that were featured in that video. It's honestly going to be months because I just can't be bothered to make videos on them. Bam! Oh my god, I hate my lighting sets. They are seriously so annoying sometimes. Oh god, okay. So this is the absolutely adorable set and it's actually really humongous like compared to like George. Like it's, it's a really big set. I mean seriously. You know, I'm actually pretty excited to open this set because this is actually going to be my first ever Generation 2 LPS set that I've probably opened um, in like three years. Because I remember posting back on Instagram in 2014, I think it was March 2014, um, and I got like a couple, uh, you know, like old LPS sets because that's when they still had them in stores, like when they were like on clearance. Um, and I think like, I know I've, like, I've unboxed like really old, like 10 year old kind of like Generation 1 LPS sets this year and they've been so difficult to open. Um, but... I'm really excited for um, the Generation 2 ones because they are much more easier and they don't get violent with you. I literally actually bled in my last, like, G1 unboxing. Okay, update. Um, this set has actually gotten violent. Okay, but forgetting about all that, let's just open this set. Okay, let's try not to stab myself. Just, oh, let's not try to ruin the pack. Oh my god, I- <gasps> I already damaged it! No! Okay, that was really dumb of me, though. Oh god. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this mark. I literally, that's like, because this is made out of, um, this is actual tin for your pets, and I already made a mark on it. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, now that we've gotten this huge thing unboxed, let's just take a look at what was actually on the wrapping that was just sealing this whole set together. Oh my god, it makes so much noise. Okay, so let's take a look at this wrapping paper. Um, there's actually an only at Target sticker, and I'm pretty sure this is um, the actual US Target. Um, so I guess this is like, this might be from the US, or maybe that is the Australian, or maybe it's just the sticker that's just there, I don't even know. On the wrapping of it, there also was this really adorable LPS sticker, and this is what was included on all, like, the old LPS sets, um, like, a few years ago, and you'd collect these stickers and then send them to Hasbro, and they'd send you, like, a limited edition LPS. I'm pretty sure probably most of you guys know what these are. Now, let's take a look at this actual packaging of the set. It's- oh. So, let's just talk about the packaging design first off. Um, it's definitely like a 2009, 2010, 2011, maybe 2012 packaging. That's kind of when they started the Generation 3 pets, which were, oh, you don't want to think about that. Um, but either way, um, it's just a very kind of simple set. Um, it's just like one of those, like, uh, I don't know what, I can't speak English. Like I was trying to say, it's kind of just one of those sets where Hasbro just had a bunch of leftover LPS, so they put them all in like one big set with a bunch of pets, and then just sell it to an exclusive store. But either way, let's actually take off this, uh... Again, on this back, we also just have, like, this little, like, LPS, um, advertisement about, like, the littlest pet shop online stuff, which is, sadly, discontinued. Um, and, I don't know, we just got, oh god, shaky camera. So just have an overview of the pets that are included in this set, but I'm not gonna look too much in that, because we're gonna be unboxing this set and see everything that's in there. So speaking of packaging, um, there is an adorable little backdrop on this set, which I absolutely love. 
So these are illustrations of the pets included in this set and honestly they are also adorable. And guys, we even got an iguana in this set. We got George's brother. Um, there's a turtle. I love that cat. She's so cute. And yeah. Now let's start opening this thing. Oh, oh god, okay, oh. Alright guys, I'm back, and just before we get into looking at these pets, uh, I'm just gonna quickly take a look at what they came in the packaging. I'm talking about this thing. So in this set, what the pets actually came with was this really adorable LPS tin to put your own LPS in there. And honestly, it's just a super cute tin. I mean, it's got illustrations of most of the pets in this set. It doesn't actually include all the pets. Though I still really am upset there there is no illustrations for this little kid and, and the Great Dane. I mean, seriously, there was so much space. I mean, look at all this space. Like, seriously, there's only two pets on the inside of this set, and there's all this space to put a kid in and a Great Dane. I mean, seriously. Sorry, I'm just really angry about this, because, like, I was just, like, really excited about the Great Dane illustration, and I feel like the kid in one would be really cute, too. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I ended up using that tin to actually store my LPS, because, honestly, my organization setup for my LPS right now is such a mess. Like, guys, it is seriously so bad. There's even a freaking iPhone cable in there. I mean, like, I just finished filming with an LPS, and then I just chuck it in here. Like, I know I'm messy, but, like, what can I say? I'm a 13-year-old boy. Okay, but let's actually take a look at the pets now, after like probably 15 minutes or something. By the way guys, I also got a little extra OPS sticker included. Cute, because I'm totally going to use this. Okay, so we'll actually be taking a look at these pets in actual number order. So first is Shirt Hero 1643. She's super duper cute. Um, so she's got this like whole orange theme with this cute yellow accent. She's a very, I guess, like, I don't know, summer pet, I guess. I don't know, because I feel like this little like um, yellow splash kind it just reminds me of like something like the sun or something. I don't really know. But she does definitely have all those like bright summer colors. They're very uh, warm. And yeah, she's super duper adorable. And she also is pretty simple. Okay, so this is the next pet. She's LPS 1644. She's this super adorable monkey. And she's actually my very first LPS monkey. Uh, I don't really know what to say about her. She does have this very adorable purple theme going on. Um, and her blue eyes just really pop out. Um, and they're also very adorable, as usual. Um, and yeah. So next, we got this little corgi, and she's number 1,645. She kind of reminds me of a fake LPS. Like, I don't know why. Like, you guys know those, like, really bad fake LPS that, like, a lot of people started getting fooled by, like, back in, like, I think 2015 or something. And they were just, like, really poorly, like, conditioned, like, very poorly made LPS. I don't know why, but she reminds me of one of those. I, like, obviously, she is a lot more, uh, cuter and, you know, obviously a lot more well-made since I did just, like, take her out of the packaging of a real Hasbro box. But, um, she is still very adorable. I don't know, I feel like, I think there was, like, a really bad fake LPS made of this pet, and that's why, because it's definitely just the color scheme that makes me think of that. I don't know. Okay, and next is this, I'm pretty sure, it might be, a, it's a dragonfly, I'm pretty sure. Um, but either way, this is my very first LPS dragonfly, and she's very cute. She's number 1,646, I'm pretty sure I already said that. But, I don't know, I just really like her color. She's actually quite pretty. Um, and I like, just like those little, like, details, like, on the accents. Especially since, like, kind of, like, pets like these, they don't have much detail on them since they were just made, like, with Hasbro, like, whatever they had left just so they can sell stuff. But, um, she is a very cute little, uh, pet and I really like her colors. And then next we got LPS 1647 um, and it is this Great Dane and if you guys know me I absolutely love Great Danes. I think I have I have 10 at this current moment and this is my 11th Great Dane so I'm a little crazy. And since I happen to have so many Great Danes I just happen to have another one. And so I'm like hey obviously this Great Dane is authentic unless you know there's just fake boxed LPS that look exactly like Hasbro would package them, or, you know, he's an authentic LPS, which is most likely the case here. Though this one, I just bought on its own off eBay. I think I got him back in June. Actually, I'll link up the video in the little eye corner here. If I forget to link it, then I probably... So, most likely the case, this LPS is authentic since I literally just took him out of the box. And, uh, this guy, well, I bought him just, like, loose, just like that, um, off eBay, used. So, I'm like, hey, maybe it's time to compare these two and see if any of them are fake. 
If you guys have already previously seen the story, um, this guy on the left, that's why I wrote left, um, he's actually the one that I got off eBay as just like a figurine on its own, so you know, there is that slight possibility that it could be fake, and then this is the one that I just got, um, on box, so my options were, um, either this left one is fake, or neither of them are fake, um, meaning that they're both real, obviously, and so, uh, at this current moment, there's 64% on neither, and 36% on left, and I don't know why I voted left, um, but I just, oh my god, Instagram, you're annoying. Either way, guys, there was 29 votes for left and 52 votes, votes for neither, um, and let's just take a look at some, uh, some of you guys who left some answers. Possum TV, sorry, I, I fangirl over Possum TV actually so much, um, but either way, uh, let's find out the actual answer now. But either way, now we're gonna find out. So, so far at the front, these guys kind of look the same. I mean, there's a little height difference here, although I think that just might be because his head is, his head is not as bobbly as this guy's. So it's kind of been like pushed down a little more. So, you know, that could just be like a possibility that like from like when it was used in the past. But I think the biggest game changer for like when you're like trying to like figure out whether a fake LPS is fake or not is the bottom. So let's take a look at that. Okay, let's just all clarify, this is the LPS that I got on eBay previously, like as a loose thing, and then this is the one that I just got out of the box, obviously, because of the mark on his foot. I just got him just like that. Um, when I first got him, he had the mark on the foot because it was a used LPS, but whatever. So as you guys can see, they have these little, like, just like the writing, like, copyright 2007 Hasbro China, and then just some other, I guess, like, letters and numbers and stuff. And, um, these, like, I don't know if you guys can see them that well on camera, but honestly, well, not honestly, they are literally exactly the same. I mean, even both their holes, like, their little hexagon circle thingies are also exactly the same. And also, both of their LPS logos are marked at the exact same place. And, yes, yeah, so this is also the brand new LPS that I just unboxed now, and there's also this little, like, mark on it, um, which is kind of annoying since I just got him brand new, um, and, like, this is how he came in the packaging, but I guess you can't really do anything about it. Since it's probably an old set, it was probably just an accidental thing. But either way, to conclude that Instagram poll, yeah, both of them are real. Neither of them are fake, or at least, you know. No, I, I don't think so. Um, because they're both exactly the same. And, I mean, I, like, honestly, fake, like, real LPS are pretty hard to find, especially online, since there's so many fakes, and, you know, so many, like, of the real LPS are, like, owned and stuff, and they won't go up for sale for probably a while. But, you know, it's it's nice when you find some fake LPS on eBay that are used and are, like, you know, on their own. They're not brand new in the box. But in all honesty, I think the fake LPS now look really authentic, and a lot of people just use the fake LPS because, one, like, they are a lot cheaper than getting, like, the spending, like, $60 for an LPS that's probably gonna end up being fake anyway. Um, and, you know, they look authentic, and they can pass as, like, a real-looking LPS, like, and if you're gonna use them for videos, or even just, like, you know, just have, like, to play with them or whatever, like, I think they're fine. Okay, guys, I want you to meet my cousin. Okay guys, so this is um, Pet 1648 and he is super duper adorable and yes, he is an iguana just like George if you guys don't know. George is not just another lizard, um, he's a type of lizard and he's an iguana. So yes, I know they are different molds but they still are both iguanas, kind of just like, just like Doc since how there's two different um, molds of them. Like, for example, this is the older one, this is the newer one. Even though they still made Dachshunds with this mold after they made Dachshunds with this mold. But yeah. And just like the Dachshunds, there are a lot more types of these Dachshunds than de these Dachshunds. Um, just like these two iguanas, there are a lot more of these types of, of iguanas than these. In fact, there are only three LPS out there um, with George's mold, and one of them is, like, pretty ugly, um, and the other one is literally George's sister, but, um, yeah, so I don't know, I guess that make, kind of makes, like, George a pretty unique pet, since there isn't many LPS of his kind, or of his mold, I should say. Next is this little shy turtle. She is LPS 1652. She's actually my first ever, um, like, G2 LPS turtle. In fact, actually, hold up, wait, give me, like, three minutes. Okay, wait. Wait, where did I put that LPS? Okay, wait, just, just wait two seconds. Okay, sorry. Uh, you probably have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, guys, I, I got, okay. I just got this new Generation 5 LPS turtle. This is actually my very first, um, uh, G Generation 5 LPS. And guys, just take a look at those differences. 
I mean, I don't know, I kind of like the older turtles. They look like really cute and like, they're just like so like shy looking and just precious. I mean, I still like this G5 one. I think the G5 ones are pretty cute, but honestly, sorry, I'm, I'm with the G2s forever. Her head kind of swivels though. <laughs> this looks so weird, but like at the same time, like kind of normal. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> sorry, oh, oh, oh God, that was like a little dance she did. Next we got LPS number 1649. She's also a fake LPS. I mean, she's not a fake LPS, but she kind of looks like one. I don't know. It's just like she's a cute LPS. I mean, the kittens are very cute, but it's just this color scheme that I don't really like. Although I do like the accents on her tail, like the kind of darker yellow accents. That makes her look less of like a fake LPS. I don't know why, guys. It's like, does she look like a fake LPS to you? Like, obviously she's not. I literally just opened her out of packaging, but like, I don't know. I just I don't know, whatever. It's also nice to have another LPS kitten since I literally haven't gotten one since I think like August 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Next we got this little LPS bird and she is LPS 1650. I don't know why, but she just looks like a fake LPS to me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's just been like those really bad fake LPS. I'm pretty sure. Oh god. I'm pretty sure a lot of them have been ripped off by these pets like in this specific set or something because honestly I don't know why I keep on thinking some of these LPS look fake like they obviously don't look fake but like just like they were like their color schemes just remind me of fake LPS because again I'm pretty sure there's a fake LPS that looks just like this I like this little blue accent on her tail it just gives it like a little pop of color or whatever yeah Okay, next we got LPS Raccoon 1651, and this is my very first LPS Raccoon, and I'm honestly so glad it is, because this is actually such a really just pretty LPS. I feel like it should be, like, really good for, like, Instagram or something. I don't know. It's just her colors. Like, I really just like the light browns, and then, like, the pink accents just really top it off and just make her, like, kind of just, like, a unique, original-looking pet. I mean, she does have all those basic colors, but then, like, the touch of pink just makes her, like, pop a little more, um, and she's just a really pretty LPS. I really like her. Okay, doesn't this thing just look adorable? I don't know, but then again, she doesn't look like a very girly LPS. Like, I feel like she wouldn't, like, ever wear pink. Like, she looks more, like, adventurous and outdoorsy, probably because she's a raccoon, but I don't know. Like, what do you, what, do, what does she tell you guys? Like, what is her personality? Comment down below. What do you guys think? So, next we have this little bunny, and she is number 1,653. She's super adorable, and she's actually my third uh, rabbit of this mold, and she is just super duper cute, uh, very light plain colors, and I don't really know what else to say. She's just a really simple LPS, and I kind of like it that way. Okay, next you got LPS Raccoon 1651, and this is my very first LPS Raccoon, and I'm honestly so glad it is, because this is actually such a really just pretty LPS. I feel like it should be, like, really good for, like, Instagram or something. I don't know. It's just her colors. Like, I really just like the light browns, and then, like, the pink accents just really top it off. And just make her like kind of just like a unique original looking pet. I mean, she does have all those basic colors, but then like the touch of pink just makes her like pop a little more. Um, and she's uh, just a really pretty LPS. Yes, I really like her. Okay, doesn't this thing just look adorable? I don't know, but then again, she doesn't look like a very girly LPS. Like, I feel like she wouldn't like ever wear pink. Like, she looks more like adventurous and outdoorsy, probably because she's a raccoon. But I don't know. Like, what do you, what, do, what does she tell you guys? Like, what is her personality? Comment down below. What do you guys think? Either way, our final pet is LPS 1654. Bam! This is a super cute little duck. It's my first ever LPS duck. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I really like him. Like, he's a very, like, kind of just, like, simple colored duck. He's just got, like, the orange, yellow palettes with the blue eyes. Um, I don't know, like, he's a very, like, simple and, like, class classic looking duck. Um, but I really like him. But either way, he is super cute, and that's all I really gotta say about him. So yeah, I mean, if you guys have any name suggestions for these LPS, please comment them down below. That'd be super fun. Um, and yeah, I guess that's really all. So thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, bye. Things you say is always one step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurt.